Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video is coming to you from a 350 cow dairy in western Wisconsin. And we're going to be looking at this right front. So let's get started. So with the pickup of a whole bunch of new subscribers, along with that comes a lot of questions. So today's video, I'm going to try to cover as many of those as I can. First of which being, how do I know where the problem is? And here, there's a little mark in that white line, and that's going to point directly up to where I need to go with my knife work later on. That being said, not every mark is pointing to a problem. Most marks that we see are simply surface imperfections, just normal wear and tear on a hoof that we see all the time. Question number two, why don't you wash the hooves before you start? A couple of primary reasons for this. Number one, working with a lot of water and power tools and sharp knives, well, they just don't mix for obvious reasons. Also, you can't possibly get the area clean that I need to because it's up underneath this layer of hoof. So I wait to do the cleaning after I've gotten that all opened up. Those marks I was talking about, here's one right here. We don't need to worry about this particular mark because it's completely located in the sole, away from that white line. That's nothing to worry about. Now, if we look up above though, this one is right in the white line and it's a little bit wider. That's the one we wanna look at and it's obviously gonna point straight up above. Next question, what are those dark areas modeled throughout that hoof? That's just simply hoof color. This cow is a Holstein, She's got a hide color that's black and white. Also, her hoof color is going to be black and white as well. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just natural coloration. So what we've got here is a white line defect. And what that means is there's basically a separation between the outside wall of the hoof and the sole of the hoof right in the white line. The white line is what connects those two. Because of that, we get a false sole and that's what I'm working on now. Eventually, we'll get down to that good new sole underneath. So what exactly causes this to happen? Well, it all boils down ultimately to pressure. Too much pressure in certain spots of the hoof then can ultimately cause that separation to happen. That could be from uh, some slipping. That could be from imbalances in the claws. When cows are on concrete, that, that force is then applied to that foot on the inside. So if we have too much weight on particular areas, that can put pressure on that white line and cause that perforation to happen. The hoof itself is made up of keratin, just like our fingernails. What's the consistency like? Well, the outside wall horn, that is much harder. I would liken it to cutting through a piece of oak, something like that, really hard. The solar horn is much more like a hard rubber, like a rubber tire, for instance, trying to cut through that. Not soft, but not really hard either. Because that wall horn is a little bit harder, I use my grinder sometimes to thin that down. That makes the knife work so much easier. Many of you lately have been asking, why do I put some glue on the side of the hoof when I put this rubber block on? At the end of the video, you're going to get to see exactly what that does. Now 
now that we've got that loose horn removed and we've got a rubber block on the other claw to take the weight off of this one, now we can do that thorough cleaning. The spray I use is called chlorhexidine. It's an antiseptic. powder I'm applying now is called salicylic acid. It's going to do three things. Number one, it's going to kill any bacteria that might be there that could cause digital dermatitis. Number two, it's going to exfoliate that area. And number three, it's going to provide a little bit of pain relief if she needs it. A light wrap is applied to hold that in place and that will come off in a couple of days. Now we'll put this foot down and you'll be able to see why I apply that glue to the side of the hoof. Putting that glue on the side just adds to the surface area for that glue to hold onto and it helps with block retention.